All right, welcome back. We continue live right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Uh, we have a winner today, a hole-in-one by Terry Stepnick. Edgewood Country Club. Once again, this is the second one there. It's the place where Rich Walsh does his business. <laughs> uh, I don't think he's had a hole-in-one, though. But uh, Terry, 14th hole, 140 yards, 9 iron. So congratulations. That is the sizzling shot presented by Ruth's Chris, 6 PP. G Place downtown, home of the Sizzling Stakes, and we congratulate Terry Stepnick. All right, let's go back to the lines. We got Mark in Washington. Hey, Mark. Hi, hi, Bob. I really appreciate your insight. Thank you. Uh, two two small questions, mm -hmm. like uh, your you know your insight on uh, Landry Jones, and how do you feel about our offensive, defensive, and head coach all being together for a while? Well, I, 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 I think that's always good for continuity sake. You know, I was encouraged by their defense yesterday based on what we saw the week before in Green Bay, and they really did clamp down. Uh, you know, whether or not that has any impact on how they play in the regular season, I don't know, but it was good to do because they had to make some adjustments there, and they did. Turnover sacks, 11 tackles for losses. That's a lot by a defense. Tennessee couldn't do much, so that's good. Uh, as far as Landry Jones, you know, I've said before, I think Landry Jones, this is a team that, believes it can win a Super Bowl. So because of that, they want an experienced backup in case they need him for a game or two. Well, Landry Jones for now fits that. But the question needs to go beyond this year if you believe that Josh Dobbs has a potential to raise his ceiling. And I think he can. I think he's gotten better from last year to this year. Who knows how good he can get, but he gives you more of a future than I think Landry Jones, who's in the final year of a contract. And unless he takes a big discount to stay here next year as a backup, He's going to want more money someplace else, so likely he won't be here. And you have Mason Rudolph anyway. So that's the decision, and I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I can see an outcome, you know, the most likely one is Roethlisberger, Landry Jones, Rudolph. It could be Roethlisberger, Dobbs, Rudolph. Who knows? We'll find out Thursday. Josh Dobbs is expected to start that game. Line four we go, John and Cranberry. Hey, John, welcome to Sports Call. How are you? Good, Bob. Thanks. Great show as Yes, always. sir. Thank you for calling. You add to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the problem with Chris Archer, as I see it, especially the last two starts, his fastball is straight as an arrow. And what happens in the major leagues, if you don't have movement on your fastball, mm -hmm. they eventually time it and they, they crush you. And uh, he needs, I don't know, with Searage, they could do something on his grip or his uh, delivery or something, but it's real obvious anyways what I could see on television. He also, though, those two home runs that were hit in the uh, third inning, that six-run inning, were not fastballs, though. But he put them in right. bad locations, too. That's the other part of it. You can't yeah, put... Uh, you know, and that's what Musgrove did to get in trouble the other night in the first inning. He just was grooving it like batting practice. Yeah, that's the thing. And then if your fastball is straight, uh, you have to be pitch perfect. It's right. got to be on the outside corner, and that, otherwise they'll crush you. So right. but that's the only thing I could see. So, right. again, great show. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate you calling. We have Alec Heyer on Twitter says his ERA is 3.8 with a raise and would be a lot lower if not for one bad inning on the road against the best team in baseball. So his point is don't give up on the guy. All right, we're going to take a break here. We'll come back right after this on Pittsburgh CW.